when Scott and I saw this, uh, this film that had its uh, world premiere at the South by Southwest uh, Film Festival, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a film of hope and also a film that really touches on a lot of things that our, I think our community needs to address younger in life versus older in life. And um, once we composed ourselves, we knew that we needed this to be part of Inside Out, so uh, PJ, please come. really opened up my eyes to the issue of elders in the LGBT community. Um, so my question for you is, mm -hmm. you know, what what made you stumble upon this topic? Well, um, several things. Um, you know, I made a previous film to this uh, called Trinidad, which actually screened it inside out, I think in 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. Um, and when I was making that film, I went to several, you know, functions and receptions. And at one of the receptions, there just so happened to be a large population of gay seniors. And I think it was the first time that I actually, um, I, I hate to say it, recognized them as a group because they're, you know, there they were as a community. And I started thinking, wow, this is the very, you know, this is now we're seeing the first visible communities of um, gay seniors, you know, LGBT seniors. So... Around the same time, I was volunteering to teach uh, queer youth filmmaking, and uh, there were kids in there who were as young as 14, and I started thinking about how, you know, one end of the LGBTQ spectrum, we have 14-year-olds, the other end, we have 74-year-olds, and are they aware of each other? You know, do the 14-year-olds know what this generation went through when they were 14, for instance? Um, do they recognize that some of them are still struggling with their sexual identity? And, you know, around the same time, I started talking to my mother about uh, she was thinking about retiring and, you know, just everything that goes into into that, you know, emotionally, financially, um, how it's a change in your lifestyle. And so I started thinking about, well, what are things going to be like when I'm 74? And what are some of the issues that we're looking at uh, when we're talking about aging? And I think society in general they uh, desexualize seniors, and I think they overlook them. And I think by saying you're an, a gay senior or LGBT senior, it's almost like the two the two terms are at odds, right? Um, and so I thought it would be an important look. And I think there's a lot of ageism that exists, and I think it's it's very extreme. Like the most extreme forms of ageism and discrimination that occur in our senior communities are at the LGBT. Uh, level and a lot of them are single. A lot of them are alone or estranged from family. A lot of them don't have children. You know, so there's a there's a real um, lack of care in terms of uh, support for them as they're aging. Um, and it's great to see them coming together. Um, and so I was really inspired to just kind of look at that and uh, really take use it as an opportunity to just think about aging and what goes into that. What has it been like for you to screen at um, Inside Out as this, the largest uh, LGBT festival in Canada, and your film really strikes a chord with that community wholeheartedly. You know, what, what has that been like for you? It's been great. I mean, I love this festival. So when uh, you know Andrew and Scott invited the film, I was like, yes. I said <laughs> on one condition that I get to come. You know, <laughs> because. I really love, yeah, I really love Toronto. I love um, the audiences here. I think it's really great. And uh, yeah, it was just really wonderful to, to screen it. And um, and I don't know if you know this, but this is the first time I've actually screened it for an LGBT audience. So it was really great. And, you know, I sat through the screening half the time just kind of looking, looking up, around like to see what the reactions were, like paying attention to when people were laughing. And, and it's great because there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot that, different communities get from this, but particularly, you know, particularly the LGBT community gets also some of the inside jokes and some of the winks that are happening, you know, in the film. So it was just really great to see that happening as well. Um, and it was really great to see a lot of seniors in the, in the audience. And, um, and you never know, you know, they might give you hugs or high fives or throw rocks at you, you know, at the end. And a lot of them came up to me and said they enjoyed it and thanked me for making it. So that was really, it's been really wonderful. So.